What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and today I'm doing my quarterly brick progress review. I have a lot of bricks, and I usually make an effort to include them in every melting basket, and I usually try to finish at least one per month. Right now, I believe I'm at seven, and I'm aiming for 12 at the end of the year, so I'm one ahead of the game. But let's get into it. I usually do these every change of season, so as we approach summer, I'm going to start kind of warming some more summer-type bricks and we'll discuss some of the more spring style bricks that I finished. So I actually finished four. Let's talk about the four that I finished first. Now, the reason I finished this one is because it's my one of my oldest bricks and I just wanted to use it up and it's apple s'mores. And I do have this bar in my club. So this one is more of a fall oriented scent if you're a seasonal melter, but I kind of melt whenever, whatever I feel like it. This is an open concept worthy scent. It's very strong. I usually could get about two days in my open layout, which most scents I usually change after about a day. And this one is an apple based scent, but there's smokiness, there's cedar, there's marshmallow. It's not really like a s'more. There's no chocolate, but it's really nice. It's one of Orville's favorite scents, I believe. Yeah, very strong, kind of a divisive scent. Some people don't like this one. I love it. That brick is all gone. Another one I finished up, I have the most bricks of this particular scent. It is cinnamon chai latte. This was a seasonal brick, I believe back in, maybe it was 2017 in the holiday collection. I think it was right as I was getting into Scentsy and they were kind of phasing this out. So this one has, um, it has like cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, and like a vanilla based steamed milk kind of situation going on. So. Here's my progress. I'll do a little split screen picture. Like I said, I do have more. This one I do not have more. It is peach and white amber. This one has notes of peach, sugar blossoms, and white amber. So I finished this one off. And funny, I did find a tester recently. So I'm kind of happy I have one, one little tester left. This is a very different type of peach. It's a soft, kind of like sweet, delicate peach. It's unlike any other peach that Scentsy has put out that I've tried. It's very different. It is a finicky performer. I usually have to warm this in slightly coolish weather, not overly cold, but not too hot. It's called kind of in the middle. And if you can get it to perform, it's, it's really good. And this one is a brick that Ramona gave to me, Walnut Raisin Muffin. This one came from Texas and it had a lot of melting so that some of the brick cubes were like slanted and that some of the wax had kind of come out. So there was probably roughly about half of a brick. This was not in my, you know, project use it up that I talked to you about last time, but, but I have been working on this periodically. So this is a good scent. It's not really bakery to my nose. It's more of the things that go along with the bakery muffins. So I think it's got some cinnamon, some walnuts, and some raisin. There's definitely a raisin note. So that one's finished. So let's talk about three that are currently available that are in the Scentsy Club right now. You can get this in Scentsy Club. It is jammy time. So this has lavender, sweet pea and freesia, I believe. So I used the top row of this one. This is a nice scent. It's a very long lasting scent, a great value scent. So if you're someone that says, I find Scentsy expensive, tell me a bar that you really think is going to be strong enough for me and last a long time. I would definitely consider recommending Jammy Times. So. One of my personal favorites is Sea Salt and Avocado. This one I used the top row as well. This is a very fresh, bright, citrusy, green scent. Almost spa-like, kind of sweet, a tiniest bit perfumey or feminine, but in the best possible way. And I, when I say tiniest, I just mean tiniest. I love this one. Don't let the description fool you. I don't really smell avocado. I don't really smell a saltiness. I just smell something that's really pleasant. So that is that. And in the citrus category, one of the best selling scents of the month ever for Scentsy was Squeeze the Day. So this one has lemon and vanilla cream. And I used up one full row plus a little bit of this cube. And this is a strong, almost like a sweet tart lemon, very, some people say cleaner. My daughter uh, complained about this the, the day I was warming it in my open layout. She said our house smells like cleaner. So I can kind of see where it, it can kind of go that way for some people, but you can mix this with a bakery and try to disguise that. But this is a very strong scent, so I like it. 
These are some bricks I don't think I had as in my last video that I was intending to warm, but I pulled from these, so I'll just show you. So I warmed some Johnny Appleseed. This is also available in Scentsy Club. However, the packaging is different. It doesn't look like this anymore. This was offered probably around 2020-ish. I could be wrong. Um, and I picked up two bricks. So this brick, I have three cubes left. This has Macintosh apples and it has pears and it has the peels of the apple. So it's a strong map mac apple scent very good mixer so you can mix this with a lot of things as you'll see i'm probably going to slide this over and try to finish this off in the fall and i'll show you what i'm going to mix it with the next one is available in scentsy club but no longer available in our catalog we will see if it comes back in the fall and winter it's sugar cookie so this one i think i had maybe two cubes missing i'll put a split screen here or a or pitcher and pitcher and I, I finished up maybe two more cubes. I don't know what I had. <laughs> You'll see. This is a nice mixer option. It does okay on its own for me if I use it in small to medium zones. Especially if I use it at work, it really does work there. Sometimes I, I'm just going to go off on a little tangent. As Sensi addicts, I find like you'll watch videos and somebody will be like, oh, I use two bars in my open layout or I use, you know, that, sometimes it's a lot of wax to use. <laughs> I use six cubes in my open layout and then I change it every day. I sometimes feel like when someone's saying I use two bar full bars in, in this area or whatever and I couldn't smell it, sometimes I think what it is is as an addict, we kind of overload our nasal and brain sensory system and maybe it's smelling. Maybe, you know, if that um, delivery man approached your door, he'd be like, holy crap, <laughs> their house smells really strong. But because you're immersed in it and you kind of become conditioned to sense, I think sometimes you just don't smell things. So. I feel like if you're going through a stage in your journey of scent and you just can't smell a lot of things, you need to take like a week of no scent. Like don't melt for like at least a few days and try to reset things. That's just my opinion. <laughs> have I ever done that? No, <laughs> because I always want to have things to review and talk to you about, but, but I've contemplated it for sure. Anyway, sugar cookie. I really like that one. It is in my club. Now, as part of a Bring Back My Bar warm review, I worked on an older bar of caramel, or brick, excuse me, caramel vanilla delight. So this was full. So <laughs> I didn't really use it in a logical fashion. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I gave some samples out and I warmed some of this. This is like a vanilla ice cream with a very golden liquid, almost like a runny caramel. That's the way I think of it. It's not thick and, and heavy. It's very runny and light. And there's a little bit of rum, and I don't know if you would pick up that, but there's something different about that scent that maybe is the rum influence. And at, oh, it's very sweet. As I warm this and buttery, as I warm this, I almost get like a little bit of like a walnut influence or like a cookie influence at the end. So I'm not sure. It's probably just my imagination. All right, so that concludes what I worked on. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to work on between like mid-June to mid-September. So most of these are gonna be summer-ish scents if you're a seasonal melter. And I included a couple as I'm heading into that cool time of year where school is starting in September for uh, for my area. So let's talk about this brick. I think this is the one I wanna finish. I'm probably only gonna finish two, maybe three bricks, but we'll see. I would like to finish Skinny Dippin'. And as you'll see, this is an older style packaging. This is available in Scentsy Club but it's in the more updated packaging. This is from when they had the VIP, whatever it was called. <laughs> so I have half a brick. That might be ambitious for me to finish, but I'm gonna give it a try. This has pears, melons, and apples, I believe. I'm just gonna smell it. Yeah, it's kinda like a tropical scent. I feel like it mimics that Bender Wax butt naked, but I haven't smelled that in a long time. All right, so the next three are spring bricks probably from 2018 when i first started in sensi we have berry cosmo boogie i believe this one has cranberry and maybe grapefruit i'll put the scent notes below for you yep it's very strong this is open concept worthy so i'll probably work through that I, you never know when i warm something in my open concept i actually use up more wax that way so i might be able to get through that but i doubt it mojito mambo this is a brick that is available in the, if you don't want to hear, skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> this is available in the June Whiff box in bar form. So this one has, I think it has lime and has muddled mint. And there's some sort of alcohol, but I don't really get that. 
and maybe some club soda from memory. I like this. I'm a minty kind of gal, so I'm good. And I have a lemon drop it low. So this is an old brick I got from a drug deal, <laughs> Scentsy drug deal. Um, it, it's not in the best of shapes, shape for sure. Yeah, it's a very soft lemon. It almost reminds me of the softness of the peach and white amber peach. This is the softness of the lemon drop it low lemon. It's very soft. I don't know the notes, I will put them below for you, but I'm gonna try to work through a good portion of this. All right, now I'm gonna work on Sunkissed Citrus. I have nine cubes left. That is oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. More or orange dominant. I'm gonna work on coconut lemongrass. This is also from the Scentsy Club. This is coconut and lemongrass. And I, I must say, I've kind of poo-pooed on this before, but I've always kind of been warming up old testers and it does so much better in bar or brick form. So I apologize if I scared anybody wrong. That is a pretty good performer. I, at least, I would at least say a medium to a medium plus. And I have Blue Grotto. This is one of my husband's favorites. This is one of Ryan's favorites. Men seem to like this. I don't know what it is. It's got lush botanicals and citrus. Yeah, it's, it's very sweet. It's a very sweet scent. There you go. And to finish off kind of heading into fall, I'm going to mix these two scents. I'm going to mix a Johnny Appleseed, which I have three cubes left, and caramel, what's this called? Salted caramel toffee. I can't, I can't even remember anymore. And I just have a little tiny bit. So I'll probably use two to one, or I'll just use this a bit on its own. But I definitely need to finish this off. This is kind of pathetic to be <laughs> keeping a whole brick for that. So this is basically got... Um, Caramel, toffee, and butterscotch, and it's got a little salty influence. Do you have bricks that you're working on? They are hard to finish, and I often get little messages from people, sometimes customers, sometimes other people that have just connected with me on social media, and they, they've they like, I finished a brick, and you can tell they're just so excited. So it is quite the accomplishment, but you really do have to put an effort in and include them into your melting, you know, activities. <laughs> So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you like brick videos. If you're an addict like me, you probably do. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.